Hey guys, Brandon here with Texas Plinking. Uh, we might have to make this one pretty quick. We got some rain coming down on us right now, but it's actually a take two. You see, I have a Mauser Car 98K from the request of many of you guys on my PUBG Guns in Real Life video asking me where it was. I had to go pick one up, and so I did. But I tried to make a, a video with it maybe a couple weeks, three weeks ago, and ran out of light, so I kind of rushed it. So I might use some of that footage uh, as kind of like B-roll into this one, but uh, while we're out here, even though the weather is not so much cooperating, Figured, why not? You know what? We're going to go ahead and run it. Uh, this is going to be now my third time shooting it, but the German Mauser Car 98K from this one specifically is 1943. Chambered in 8x57. Got some JS around here. And I recently bought a clip for it as well so I could line up five and then very nicely line it up here. And then with my thumb, kind of go ahead and load them all in at once. There goes the clip. And then from there, cycle it up. Up right here is safety, but it still lets you cycle the bolt. Right here is locking on safety. All the way to the left, and we can shoot. Very nice. Not a whole lot of forgiveness with the metal pad here as far as recoil, but because of the size and everything, it actually handles it pretty darn well. For how potent is around that is you could hear it echo for just miles all right got the clip loaded back up forgive me when i look rusty doing this i've only used the clip a couple times now i'm not shooting steel because last time i did that it actually broke my bolt on one of my targets i just broke my target i think I think it's shooting a little high. This one's a pretty great condition one. 90% uh, of the serial numbers are matching, all but the bolt. Um, if all of them were matching, the thing would probably be worth maybe 1500 But because one's off, I actually picked this up for about 820 So the reason you can get it so cheap, and it was used in World War II, so so many people are like curious, like why is a piece of history like that so obtainable for under a thousand dollars? Reason being is because they made 14 million of them, if I'm not mistaken, and so they're out there. Uh, they're not too too hard to find, but uh, but definitely recognizable. Obviously, video games are picking them up now, so you got some more enthusiasts coming in from a younger demographic. But otherwise, even historians or whatever, you guys can pick up a piece of history like this for not a lot of money. Although it was German on the wrong side of history then, but it is history, so I think either way it's kind of worth, uh, you know, honoring because it is such a great rifle. Other than that, I mean, they're only going up in value. I was reading a forum from 2006, and everyone was saying that a $300 Car 98 was way overpriced, and now, cheap as I could find, is about $820, like this one. So, they're on their way up, and they just make for really, really nice and reliable rifles. Uh, a lot of people use them for hunting nowadays too. So, you know, for that money, you're going to get a rifle that's probably going to outlive you as well. And uh, it's just a fun shooter. So let's load up some more. All right, even not using the clip, it's really, really easy to just put them in the five round internal box mag here. And uh, everything about this gun, like I said, because of the age of it, everything's just so slick and operating. If you wanted to, you could put five here, then force this down and put one in here. So it could be a five plus one and have six total. But, nah. And just look at how smooth that action is does not take a lot of force at all. So freaking cool. Another cool thing is, uh, I think that would have surprised me if the AK got this system off of this gun because this one came way before. But you look at the iron sights, you could pinch this up here, put it at 100 meters all the way up to seven, eight, nine, all the way to 2,000. And uh, that right there is quite an angle to shoot at, but hey, it's got it there for 2,000 meters. Kind of crazy. So this was designated more of a sniper rifle because it actually, I think this might have been one of the first rifles to have issued precision ammunition with the rifle versus like M1 Garands or whatever, we're just using other 30-06 ammo. This had precision loads for it. And later on, even people who just use it for hunting purposes now, will get a Picatinny rail and put a scope on this thing because they say it's plenty capable for shooting like that.
a cleaning rod that you can unscrew. And obviously it's pretty short, so you could get other CAR-98 uh, operators and, uh, and thread them together and you can have a cleaning rod here. That reminds me, when I picked this thing up, I also bought something else. In here, this right here says G Appel 1938. You see a can of oil. This right here is for the cleaning of the bore, so it's actually longer than the bore, that little chain thing. I don't know what that spoon thing is, and then a brush, like any brush that you would even find today, which is kind of cool. You also have a bayonet uh, with a little cover on there. So that itself is pretty cool. So I picked those up with, in addition to it. Bayonet will just slide right here. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and shoot with the bayonet on, why not? I figured, why not? Look at this, look at this. Look how slick that is. <sighs> Love it. Now, a cool thing is, when it's empty, it won't let you put the bolt back forward because the follower has risen up, which is nice, so you don't accidentally think that you're loaded. And then just to bypass that, you could just press that in. Well, guys, I think that's just about going to do it for this one. Like I said, uh, probably a fairly short video, but I think I hopefully have enough footage from today and last time I tried to make the video and ran out of light to suffice. But I plan to keep this one around, maybe even extend it out to further range later on when the weather cooperates. But uh, that's a quick look at it anyway. Really, really cool rifle. I know this wasn't so much a history lesson because you could find that anywhere else online. So it's more so just uh, recreational shooting with a gun from World War II and one that you guys know very, very well and have been requesting that I get for a long time and finally do or finally have gotten it. So Car98K, guys, uh, pretty sweet. And like I said, follow me on Instagram or just subscribe here and you guys will see plenty more of this in the very near future. Anyway, that does it for this one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.